welcome to our YouTube channel. We are in a different location today, if you can't tell. <laughs> I am currently dog sitting. I recently learned about this fun new trend where you pick out photos, um, whether that's of your friend, your significant other, or in my case, my parents, and you ask them to explain the story of the photo. And so I thought that might be a really fun concept for a video. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Beaver Family content. So what's the story of this photo? I don't know. You don't know? No, but- We weren't, we weren't there. We weren't there, but oh. the, the Easter Bunny- That's the Easter Bunny. Just looks like a demon, and you don't look very happy to be there. I think you were, I think, I was told that it you were afraid like of really the, yeah, it. It looks like really scary. Yeah, it's a terrifying of this Easter Bunny. I would have been very. It's a little afraid. bit terrifying. Oh, that was my senior year of high school, and that was the Sadie Hawkins dance. Cute. And these two girls I was friends with, and she was just invited to to go with us. She was a she turned out to be a really fun person, and that was a really great night. Uh, kindergarten graduation. Kindergarten graduation photo. You were really sick. You were sick. You had strep throat. And I made you go to school anyway because it was picture day. And I needed to have a photo of you graduating from kindergarten. Yeah, so it was, it was, I sent you. Very we, important we took stage you in life. Specifically just for the picture. If you don't know the story, you look like you're an abused child. <laughs> this is what trauma looks like. You took Do that you photo. Know the, I, I took this photo. Yeah. So there's no really story behind it. I just took a random photo. She didn't take that photo. You I took she that did. photo. No, I was on the phone with Barbara. Do not ask your dad to remember anything because it's either he doesn't have a memory of it or it's a false memory. I do know that story. That was in Little Rock when your mom and I were living there. No. Yeah, it is. <laughs> is it? Yes. No, that's not yeah. Little Rock. Yes, it is. This is the first apartment we ever had. Do you remember that apartment? Mm -hmm. I do know that this nightstand was just a cardboard box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we put With a quilt, quilt over it. Because our bed was a inflatable mattresses. Yep. Two inflatable mattresses stacked up. And this was a Sex Pistols Fuck Forever poster. We accidentally left this poster. Yeah. It was an accident. It was an accident. But the people moving in after us, I'm sure didn't appreciate it. This is your uh, photo. It's not the photo. The photo, but it was one of a series yeah, of photos of the cutest baby contest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was on the porch of our apartment. I keep on it. I want to do this to photos. <laughs> I love those shoes. We always bought clothes that were like super cute whether they fit exactly or not and kids grow mm -hmm. like yeah. overnight sometimes now you wake up the next day and nothing fits so we always your clothes were always big but of course i always wore I, well. wearing baggy clothes runs in the family yes, it does you couldn't ask me to tell the story of that that's girl scout, girl scout camp. camp your memory may be bad Yours is worse. <laughs> you get your memory from your I dad. don't know the story behind I know I was at Girl Scout camp. That's it. That's your dad's favorite photo. Yeah. Aww. I took that photo. With my of double you. chin. Aw. <laughs> you know, that's your inner child. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You just said that to her. You just made fun of her. Of her. Maybe you should keep this one. I guess so. Yeah. There's your mom. Yes, this is in sixth grade. This is the county fair. And it was a talent show and I won first place. I still have the trophy. I sang and I can't sing, but I won because it was fixed because all of the judges were teachers of mine. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you My win? favorite thing, I won a trophy and a hundred dollars. What's this? We, <laughs> for We're Methodist youth, youth directors, yeah, and we decided to have a formal dance okay. for all the youth group, and the, and we had a photographer come in and everything. This is your first birthday. We yes. graduated yes. in '96. Yes. She was born in '94. No, we graduated in '95. Did we? Yes. <gasps> Go 
Jeff. Jeff, 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 Jeff. <laughs> we finished in three years. That's right. One year, I was taking 18 hours. Yeah. Oh my God. You pretty much did. Yeah. You did full 18 time. hours and you did full summers and worked worked a job. Yeah, I was and doing six finished. hours in the summer, each mm -hmm. summer session. And I wonder why I have <laughs> such an overachieving nature. I don't know why you're such an overachiever. I don't know. I don't either. I need to know the story of this oh, one. Okay, you do. so this you is do. after Wife Swap, okay? When I got all into like animal activism because I thought I should since that's how I was portrayed on the show. And so I joined PETA and we went to the, the fair. fair and they had this little monkey uh, that people were, you'd pay $5 and have your photo taken with this monkey. And this little, th this little dude was so unhappy. I mean, they were he treating. Was pulling at the, he was, he was pulling, pulling at the pulling thing. And he didn't was like want to not. Be, and was just being like manhandled by people and not being treated with care and was obviously like way underfed. Yeah. And so I paid, I was so angry. And I paid my five dollars to get a picture so I could send it to PETA. I was boiling mad. Look at your face. I know, I was so angry. So I called PETA and told them about it and uh, they didn't care. No, they only care about the things that they fabricate. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> this was selfies. With, with you your know, selfies. Because we didn't have phones. <laughs> <laughs> and so you would take all these selfies with our cameras and we get these we'd get them to, kinds of pictures when we got them developed and this is one of my favorite things tree hugger yes this was outside the airport in yeah Charleston. you're in you got the same sweater on yes that was the these same day gosh dang tree hugger we filmed All these that are. day and and we were with the crew tree hugger. And, and it was just All so the funny hugger the photos. joke was this tree hugger and and this was taken by one of the crew members. This is after wife swap. Yeah, everything is. was still like. Well, taped no, because well, I got it must be right after because my hair. I bet it's during. I think y'all took a bunch of photos because y'all yeah. did during the dinner that night. Well, there you are. You wouldn't sleep in your crib, but you would sleep in the carrier. So you would sleep, and we put the car seat in a bassinet so you could look at us. So you pull the chain to turn the light on. <laughs> pull it and you're like. We pull that string and there you were. These are my favorite when you you bowling. Oh yeah, oh, Sass Master. So cute. That's funny. That's the, that's the, the Christmas. Christmas. That's, the, that's the Hanukkah Christmas. That was the year that I wanted to be Jewish because I thought that meant that you got more presents. My parents pranked me on Christmas morning, which I think is hilarious that you stuck with the same holiday, like yeah. same yeah. tradition of yeah. like writing a letter to Hanukkah Harry. Yes. Hanukkah Harry. <laughs> and then on Christmas morning, they gave me a single package of dreidels. And you cried, you were five. Was I five? Yeah. Five. Grandma was really upset with us for doing that because yeah, she, we were just like, well, that's all you get because you said you wanted to be Jewish. And so all you get is a package of dreidels and you cried and we were laughing and she was like, don't you do that to that baby. And I was like, what? It's funny. And so finally we were like, oh, what's that behind the couch? And it was all in the present. Yeah. They were hidden, carefully hidden away. It's probably why you don't have any memories because... <laughs> We can't recreated so much trauma yeah, that's by the pranks that we pulled. That's me and Jim on the Sky Coaster. In Florida. In Florida. Yeah. With the youth group. So this thing literally Oh, flew. I have a memory. I unlocked a memory. Oh. That's when I got the alligator, right? Yes. Yes. That is when you got the alligator. <laughs> you remember. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I had a memory. Where? Yes. It seriously is a struggle <laughs> for this. me. <laughs> from this. From that. <laughs> Look how cute your mom is. This is from a play that I did at SAU. I didn't have any lines. Um, and I played a hair lips girl. Um, 
Ellie Mae Lester. Ellie Mae Lester? Ellie Mae Lester. Was that the name of the character? Yes, yes because that's the award. That was the year that they created an award for a person who stole an entire show. Without that, a line. Without any lines. And that was me. And so they created that, the Ellie Mae Lester, Lester Award. award. Um, and that was, I was the recipient. And it was named after me. That first year. <laughs> and they still award that. They still I award they that. Do. I hope you enjoyed today's blast from the past. Thank you for joining us. And please like and subscribe. Thanks for joining.